Hello, I'm Trevor Lewis from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab, and this is another quick video about how to do something in Scratch. This is about how to load a file that you've already been working on. So hopefully you've saved some work and you want to get back into it. All you're going to do, I'm using the online version of Scratch, scratch.mit.edu, and I pressed Create, and then I can load the file from File Load. You can also do this on the desktop version. Then you need to know where you saved it. So I saved in Documents and Scratch Projects, and there it is. Check the time and date to make sure you're getting the right file. Once you have the file selected, you can press Open. And it will warn me that the thing I had open before is going to be erased, which is fine as long as I have saved it or I don't want to save it, and as is in this case. And so I have to hit OK. Uh, you can see my tutorial stayed open. I want to close that. So this is my file that I had originally saved. If you can't find your file, you can even retrieve it from Schoology if you've turned it in on Schoology. So on this assignment, I clicked on my submission right here, this fake assignment, and it opened up my uh, SB3 file, and I can press download. And depending on how you have your download set up, you will prompt you with where you want to save it, or it'll automatically go to your downloads folder, and then you can just go to file and load your files. Be careful as you start to build up lots of different versions of your files that you're keeping track of which versions are the most recent. Look at the times, although sometimes those times are based on when you saved it from Schoology when you're downloading things.